funny. I'm going to tell you a small story. I talk a lot. I know this is not a typical tasty uh, guacamole video of 10 seconds, as you realized. <laughs> Welcome, I am Natalie and welcome to another video in this YouTube channel Blooming Life. I am super excited to share this with you because it was something that I wanted to do for so long and I don't know why I didn't do it before. But anyways, um, we are going to do um, something very special to me because I love food, like in general. I love to go to the market, especially local markets, to get fresh food and I really like to go to eat, to cook, like in general I, I enjoy a lot um, everything that is about food. And the other day I was um, watching Chef's Table, which I'm obsessed with that documentary, if you haven't look, um, if you haven't watched it, have a look. And I don't know, I was thinking that it takes so much time to make a dish and doesn't matter if they are pancakes that takes 30 minutes or if it's something super more elaborated like it takes more time to cook than to actually eat it and more than that that's just thinking about the kitchen but can you imagine the time it takes to grow to process I don't know there are some ingredients that take years like the parmigiano cheese and stuff and we just eat it in 10 seconds so that's why um i don't know it impacts me very much um how we live in such a hurry most of the time so we don't stop to think um how like how much time especially because time is super valuable because time is life so we don't, I don't know, sometimes we don't stop to appreciate what we have, how, um, how long it takes an effort to get, for example, an avocado that, um, I don't know if you know, but here in Mexico, it's like a mafia. Um, like, how much effort it takes to the people who work in the farms, um, under the sun, they get paid so low, and, I don't know it takes a lot of time and effort of to get anything basically but it's very important to appreciate what you what we have like from the minimum thing and speaking about food and guacamole especially um, I don't know for example some people uh, they don't get uh, avocados in their country for example, I've met a friend uh, from Sweden and he told me that they make guacamole from avocado powder, like they don't get avocados. At the beginning I was shocked, <laughs> but then, I don't know, I was like, wow, we are very grateful to have avocados. And if you have avocados in your country, <laughs> I hope you feel grateful for it. Um, and, and it's... And everything in life is about energy. Um, it's crazy how uh, you go to buy apples and you can choose from 10 apples and they look completely the same. But you, you, you pick one specially and it's about energy. It's like when you are in a bar and you talk to somebody, you could talk to the other 30 people, but you talk to that person because it's energy. And with food, it's the same. So, I don't know how important, uh, we have this expression in Mexico that when you, eat, when you cook, maybe it's in all the countries, but uh, when you cook something and you are angry, we say here that the food is going to taste spicier. <laughs> and you know, every, everybody says that when you cook something with love, like it tastes so much better. And I completely believe in that. So can you imagine if we take the time from picking the fruit in the market and it would be better if we grow it like right now I'm starting with that and I'm so excited um, to start growing my own food. I think it's 
it's a gift from the nature so the first step will be well if you have the chance to grow your own food but if we don't have that opportunity at the moment take the time the next time that you go to the market to really be mindfulness about the moment to picking the food that you're going to eat and it that is going to nurture your body and give you the energy to make all the things that you do so that will be the first step and the second step i think is at the kitchen um taking the time to really cook to see the colors of your ingredients to think about for example um the miso sauce that it takes years to to make it or any any ingredient that you have like to be grateful and think of what you have in your hands that you are um able to buy it you know some people they don't even have enough money to eat more than rice and etc like i think it's a whole thing to have water to wash your vegetables just opening the top I don't know I think it changed a lot and because everything is energy I think it really changed uh, if we take the time to cook slow and eat it slowly and everything so let me check if it's recording well yeah it was recording very well <laughs> so okay we're going to start um, with the avocado First thing, if you cannot get avocados, don't feel bad. You can still make this guacamole. Obviously, it's not going to be guacamole. It's going to be another tasty salsa, which we call lazy salsa in my family. But don't feel bad. You can work out if you don't have avocados or if you have avocado powder. I think if you make it with love, it's going to taste, taste good for you. So, okay. The first thing and very important in a guacamole, of course, is the avocado. And I'm so happy to be working with these avocados today because they are from Mexico. Um, the state that grows the most avocados are, is uh, Michoacán, which is beautiful. Um, and the name of the brand is Delicia, which means like a delicious thing, which it really is. Okay. So how, it's very important um, which avocado can, uh, do you pick and I mean that has to be ripe. Uh, a lot of the times the avocados that you find in the market they are green so you have to let them ripe. Uh, one very good tip is to use newspaper so you just basically wrap your avocado and you could leave it besides the bananas and the bananas are really good to help the other fruit to ripe faster. So once your avocado, when you touch it, is like soft, um, especially if you, if you touch it here and it's soft, it's ready and also when it's black. But be careful because sometimes even if they are green and you open them, they could be black from the, from the inside. But that just comes like from a wrong, like I don't know, something wrong, <laughs> but you don't want black avocado. From the inside you want a green one and has to be soft um, very good so we're going to need obviously avocados we are going to need um, limes and um, if you want the flavor that I'm going to make um, I recommend you to use the green ones the limes not the yellow ones because the yellow ones are sweeter and also you're going to need tomatoes i i really recommend you to use these ones i think they are the roma ones because the ones that are more silk circle shaped they taste a little bit different so if you can get these ones it's really good and also white onion if you cannot get white you can use the brown but i don't recommend to use the purple one because it's super strong the flavor and coriander or cilantro I don't know how you find it some people call it cilantro even in English speaker countries um, mm -mm -mm. okay and salt um, obviously and also very important green chili um, this kind of chili is serrano you might find it in your country but if you just find green chili or any other chili 
fresh one, I think it's fine. Like, don't worry a lot if you don't find especially some ingredients. Uh, I know that some um, recipes are very strict, but I think it's okay. Like, doesn't matter. Just work with what you have. Okay. Um, and especially, um, this is like a recipe from like a Mexican recipe of um, a guacamole. I'm Mexican if you haven't noticed. <laughs> but some people in other countries might make it different i'm not saying that this is the perfect and the most delicious but i don't know when i was living in in other countries um they really like this guacamole so i hope you like it too but this is just the way i'm sure there are many other ways to make it but this is the mexican one from my family Okay, so we are going to start with the avocado. How I do it is uh, 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 uh. the first thing uh, with the guacamole is that you're going to mash the avocado first. Um, I really like to like the avocado is really good mash, uh, like mixed with everything. Some people like to find the little cubes of avocado, I don't, but that depends on you. So pretty much the idea of the mindfulness um, avocado is like to take the time to cook, as I said. Uh, I don't know, I found myself many times um, just eating like in 10 seconds or always looking to watch TV while I was eating or I don't know some people drive while they are eating and I know that there are times that we don't have the time but I think it's important really really important to take the time to enjoy you know to smell the food and do it since you are cooking so the first step was to pick your vegetables and this step cooking um, I don't know, try to take the time to look for your fruit and realize about the color, think about the colors, think um, how grateful you are for getting these uh, ingredients. I don't know, I really like to take the time, for example, when I'm making my smoothies to, to I don't know if the word valorate exists or I'm inventing, <laughs> uh, but I don't know, to appreciate um, every fruit every color the textures i think it's really cool so you get your avocado and once you are super happy with the shape and you have a look had a look and everything you are you are going to cut it's very funny i'm going to tell you a small story i talk a lot i know this is not a typical tasty uh, guacamole video of 10 seconds as you realized but it's so funny because when I was living in this hostel in Australia, I saw so many ways of people opening an avocado. Oh my God, I was shocked. Sometimes I was like, oh my God, that guy is going to cut his hand. Uh, my sister told me also that in Europe, um, people was hurting their, their, themselves so much trying to open the avocado that the government or somebody um, like make a videos how explaining them how to open is <laughs> crazy but i don't know i think it's the same i did i don't know how to open for example a jackfruit or what is like the best way to do it for example i didn't know that it's very good to open for example to put a spoon inside the kiwi and it's easier i don't know i'm just going to show you my way and also be very careful and everything so what i like to do is I use a knife like this and then oh look this beauty perfect and one very good uh, tip to take out the seat let me get a knife so be very be very careful with this step so I basically take with the left hand the the side with the seat and then with the knife I like okay I fail <laughs> Okay, now that you have it there, you just like move it 
Okay, I failed again. Okay, <laughs> third time. <laughs> but the idea is that you just moved and there you go, you have it out. But be very careful with this step. <laughs> As you can see, it's not that easy. Okay, and then with the knife, I'm just going to like make a little bit squares. I couldn't find somebody who helped me um, recording this video, so hopefully it works. Okay, and now that you have the small squares over there, with a spoon, I, you're going to help yourself like doing this and taking it out. And that way, you don't leave anything in the avocado. Like the spoons really help you, like you can see. Perfect. And once you do that, um, we're going to smash it with a fork. So let me do it and then um, I show you how to mash it with a fork. Okay, it happened a very sad story. Like I was saying, sometimes the avocado can look perfect from the outside, but it's not. It's so sad because now I'm going to have to make less guacamole. But I just open and you know, you see from the outside looks beautiful, but look from the inside. <coughs> Sorry, it was my dog Mora. Okay, and I was saying, and look, it happened to me with two avocados and it's a shame because now I can't use them. I feel bad when I found this like, and it's so sad. Look, this is really bad. Okay. You can use them to make a hair mask. That's what I'm going to do. Or put it in your body. Hmm. Okay. So now we have already the avocado over there. And we are going to smash it. Let's put this on the side. Because these are the vegetables that I just wanted to show you that we need it and we uh, uh, okay and with the help of a fork you're just going to smash like this and when you are happy with the mash like I said I I like it really, really mashed. And that's why it's important. Oh, I left a black thing over there. That's why it's very important that the avocado is ripe. First of all, because of the flavor. And second, because um, when, it's, uh, when it's ripe, obviously it's really soft. So it's easier to mash it I don't know the name but when you make frijoles refried refried frijoles <laughs> refried beans you can use that thing but the thing is that if you use it uh, I don't know it takes a lot of avocado and they are too precious to leave like even a small amount in the thing that I don't know the name I think I am happy with this texture I hope you see well and now I already have um, chopped everything so that's a very good thing i was thinking that i never told you how many things for example i use um two and a half avocados i wanted to use, like i had everything ready for four but two were very bad so these are two avocados two and a half so for that amount of avocados i will use if you see this onion is quite big 
So I will use just one quarter of this onion. And it really depends on the flavor, like um, how you like it. But I don't like that much the flavor of the onion. And I think one quarter of this big one is enough. So we are going to put the chopped onion. I also recommend you that uh, you chop a uh, very good the onion and even the tomato because you don't want a big a big piece of onion and then it's not going to taste good and also I already chopped the tomato for two and a half avocado I will use two tomatoes two small tomatoes which are like this size they are approximately I don't know like eight centimeters Perfect. <clears throat> and I already chopped the, the chili. I put two chilies, maybe it's too much, but we are Mexican and we like we like a spicy. So let's put the two. Even if the two they were for four avocados, but I already told you the story. And then we have the coriander. For the coriander, I'm going to use one spoon of coriander um, I'm, don't worry I'm going, to, I'm going to also leave you the ingredients and the measurements on the box below so you don't get lost but I'm going to use approximately um, one tablespoon yeah one, one and a half one and a half tablespoon because I really like the flavor of coriander and and then we are going to put salt, which I think um, I use like half tablespoon of salt, which will be like two teaspoons approximately. It also depends on you. Some people doesn't like that much the flavor of the too much salt. And um, then we're going to add the limes. One very good tip that I want to give you is that you choose a good lime because if the lime is I separate one lime that I wanted to show you but probably my brothers use them but the lime has to be you know like a healthy lime you know because if you use one lime that is a little bit like almost dying then the flavor of the lime changes so I recommend you to use like a yellow healthy one perfect and then we are going to sque squeeze the lime it's a little bit tricky because also I like to use my hands when I squeeze lime because if I use the other thing that helps you I think it leaves too much use 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 juice and <laughs> And in some countries, the limes are super expensive and you don't want to waste. I don't, I, for example, when I was living in New Zealand, I was shocked and I wanted to get crazy because one kilo of limes were $44. Like, for example, right now in Mexico, one kilo of lime, um, I'm going to make like the comparable with US dollars and is one and a half or one dollar uh, the kilo of US dollars like it's very cheap in Mexico but it's because we grow it and it's the lime of Mexico is very very famous do you see <laughs> I'm getting like just the smell is so good that my my mouth is full of saliva like I'm like the dog when they are watching meat and they're like, I am like that right now. It smells so good. That's why I tell you, I told you that um, the process to make anything, it's so cool. Like right now I'm trying to explain you a little bit faster so you don't get an hour of guacamole <laughs> when you can find in tasty 30 seconds. But 
really when you are making it take your time i love the colors like so much green and then the contrast with the red of the tomato and the white of the onion i love it it's perfect and the smell is fresh and also one very good thing about guacamole is that all plant-based so for people who is vegan and vegetarian well this works perfect i put a lot of lime one two three four four lines for these two and a half avocados and let's see if it's um enough i'm going to rinse my hands so i can show you the colors so beautiful look these colors it's beautiful look all the juice mm, this is going to taste super good so basically now we are just going to mix everything 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 so right now i am mixing everything and i think that the measurements were good i was a little bit scary that it was too much uh, tomato because if you put a lot of tomato some people put a lot of tomato so that way um, they can make more guacamole and it's cheaper than use a lot of avocado and then you know what I mean but the thing is that it's going to taste different because the tomato is very sweet so I mean if you change the measurements which they are not super strict as you can see um, it's going to change the flavor I'm, but I'm sure it's not going to taste bad so it's fine for example, when we are going to have a huge party, and just to let you know, in Mexico, in every party, we have guacamole. Um, and I don't know, we didn't have the chance to get a lot of avocados. Well, you put a lot, you put more tomato, so that way everybody can get su guacamole. Perfect. Oh my God, I can't wait to try it. Perfect. Look. Looks so good already. Let's try it. I think it's really good. Mm. It's perfect. I'm just going to put a little bit more of lime because I think it will be better. You can see like it's a really good but it depends on you if you like more salt or less salt or more lime or more onion. So it's not really a rule or special measurements, like super strict. Some people like, for example, to blend first the coriander with the avocado and the onion. So that way you don't find the onion, you don't find the little pieces of coriander to just find the small pieces of um, tomato. But that really depends on you. That's, that's how a chef used to make it. I used to work in this Mex Mexican restaurant in New Zealand and they make it like that and it was good. Okay, another very good tip that I want to give you is that it changes the flavor completely. If you let the, the guacamole set for, I don't know, two hours, because you give the chance to the flavors to come out and mix together and party together so they can mix and get to know each other so they taste good. That's just a story that I just made in my mind. But I think this is enough. Another tip, a uh, very good tip is that if you put the bone of the avocado for example, let's say, let's say that um, you didn't finish the avocado and you want to keep it for one night. Uh, sometimes, I don't know if it happened to you, but the uh, guacamole gets dark. So if you put one uh, avocado bone, it helps you to doesn't get oxidated. I think that's what happened. And also, I want to tell you another thing. Mm, no, I think that's it. Perfect. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you that if you keep the guacamole for more than two days, it doesn't taste good anymore. So the good thing about guacamole has to be fresh. 
perfect i'm going to try it again mm. i think it's really good really good so how you can eat the guacamole you can eat it with chips you can uh, warm corn tortilla and put it inside and eat it like a taco you could make tacos and put guacamole on the top you can um, buy doritos oh doritos with guacamole they are the best i really like that combination you can also i don't know make tostadas which is like a hard tortilla and put guacamole on the top and just eat it like for a quick dinner um what else you can just eat it by itself um uh, I don't know. Yeah, I really like those things. And right now, we're going to try it with chips. Just regular chips. And give it the last try. Mm. It's really good. But you know, I think the chilies, were, the chilies were not that spicy. And I think I'm going to add one more. But that's just for me. Okay. Perfect. So, I did, I think this is it. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. For for this long avocado, uh, guacamole recipe, but I hope you try it. I hope you try to make it, like I said, like it's slowly smelling everything, taking the time to enjoy, to appreciate what you have, the ingredients, everything, everything, and especially if you can share it with your friends and your family it's going to taste better and thank you very much again if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends subscribe to the channel so you cannot miss any any video that are coming and if you i've never made i think i never made like a, a recipe food video before uh, so if you like it, tell me in the comments so I can make more videos about this and please, please, please If you make this guacamole recipe, please tell me in the comments how it goes if you like it or maybe tell me if you want to add anything else and I don't know I can try it and I also know another recipe of guacamole if you want me to tell, make a video about that recipe Let me know and I'll be super happy to share it with you and if you have any other questions, I'll be super happy to answer them. So you can leave them in the comments. And also, uh, I'm going to leave my social media so you can um, be my friend in Instagram and Facebook. And remind you that I have a, blo a blog, like a website, where I uh, post stories and travel, travel guides and many other stuff. So check it please also and thank you again and see you later and like we say in mexico buen provecho will means like bon appetit so enjoy your guacamole